All right, what is up, my friends? We are playing more Faithless Looting decks without Faithless Looting. Up next is a Mardudu, the Mardudu Pyromancer. And this deck got a number of cards from Modern Horizons. And there's a card in here that I think is secretly kind of good. What's up, David? Nine month resale. Welcome back. Sub baby name, please. Ransack the Laboratory. Now, this is a color shifted strategic planning. But you gotta understand, blue is a lot of cantrips. Black does not. So being able to play a good cantrip in our non-blue mid-range deck is pretty good. And putting the cards in the graveyard, also pretty good. You put a Lingering Souls in the graveyard, or a Smiting Helix, or even a creature for Unearth, that's really good. And then you're also making sure your Reveler comes online really fast. One of the best cards in the deck. So um, otherwise, we're playing mostly what we'd expect from Mario Pyromancer. Uh, Season Pyromancer is phenomenal. Uh, card's are really, really good. Um, but it's basically everything we'd want it to do. Uh, it makes tokens, discards cards for value, gives value out of the graveyard. Um, very, very good. And of course, Young Pyromancer is back. Um, we gain Smiting Helix. This card might not be good enough without looting, but we obviously have Pyromancer to discard. Brutality to discard, Ransack to find it, Bedlam Revelor to discard, and then in some matchups, honestly, hard casting it isn't even that bad. You know? So, that's that. Uh, those are the new cards. We're playing one copy of Unearth. Don't want to draw too many of this card, but it is quite good with the Pyromancer and Season Pyromancer, and just gives us a little more graveyard value, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, otherwise we're just playing the nice, the nice kind of fair Jundi game. Uh, with Bedlam Reveler at the top, uh, Lingering Soul is really good in fair matchups. Uh, Discard Spell is really good in unfair matchups. Cole against Command, very good against uh, Stoneforge Mystic and things like that. And uh, don't forget, I wrote about these decks I am playing today on CoolStuffInc.com, my article uh, from yesterday, Friday the 6th, talking about Faithless Looting replacements, uh, what to do with Faithless Looting decks now that Faithless Looting is gone. So what's that mean? It means that uh, we got Dredge on here, we got Is It Phoenix in here, and we got Pyromancer. We've already played Dredge and Phoenix. If you missed those, it'll be up on my YouTube. Uh, both went 3-2, and they're both first drafts, so there's certainly still decks here. We should figure think to figure out exactly what we're doing. Uh, sideboard in this deck, we got Sony Silence, obviously, is great. Uh, Plague Engineer, obnoxious, but great. Uh, third Brutality. Pillow has been surprisingly good. We played the Rakdos mid-range deck that... Uh, that top eight of the open, and um, this card did some work, honestly. Nice, flexible sideboard card, good against Tron, good against Wurza, pretty cool. Uh, one Campbell, just good in some matchups. Uh, second Dread Boar for, for Planeswalker decks. One Nahiri, it's an extra threat. Uh, it helps to discard things in fair matchups. Exiles enchantments, exiles artifacts, exiles creatures. And then we don't have we don't have like an Emercool or anything for the ultimate, but getting Bedlam Reveler or Season Power Mancer is also pretty good. Uh, explosives, Nile Spell Bomb I think is important uh, to have some sort of graveyard hate in this format, and then uh, the old Wear and Tear. So Mardu Pyromancer, let's go Modern League. Uh, playing Goblins later. Goblins is next. Not yet. Not yet. All right. We won an absurd match in our last round with the Phoenix deck. If you missed that one, it'll be up on YouTube. Don't forget also, it is September. We have hit our 600 subs goal. You can see below, we're at 605. This is day four of September. I'm streaming for 20 days in a row. Our next threshold is a MTG Arena viewer challenge day. Y'all can play against me on Arena, and we'll give some prizes out if you win. Is that cool with everyone? Cool. Let's go. Ransack the lab, showing up first thing. Why not Blood Moon? I think Pillage is better. I think Pillage is better. Um, We're going to keep. Definitely a question of what we're doing on the first turn. I think it's just Mire and saying go. The option to bolt. Turn two can Ransack. If I get to 1,000, will I add new goals? Yes. Alright, so ship the turn skis. 
Do I think Phoenix should run Reveler instead? Um, it could. Reveler is really good. I'm a big, big Bedlam Reveler fan. All right, so we're getting Blood Crypt here. We already have our white. Cinderglade. This is a Valakit deck, uh, which it probably is. That's no good for us. That's definitely a bad matchup. We'll see, though. No, I, it's 600 subs from my my total when I started. I started at like 510 or something. So we didn't start from zero. We started with our, our total that we had. Um, I mean, we ransacked for a land drop here. The thing is, if we can Inquisition, we can try and hit, hit their two drop, two drop ramp. That's true. Reveler's bad if you're drawing cards. Reveler's good in this deck because you tend to empty your hand. All right, we're going to discard spell. Try to take their two drop ramp. Got it. Their hand's pretty bad. The problem is that our clock is just pretty pretty slow. So they're probably going to play lands and kill us. Well, that was fortunate. Uh, now we're probably super dead. Oh boy. All right, we're playing the Pyromancer. We need some sort of a threat. Not good. Not good. They're leaving the uh, the, the Tribe Elder in play. Interesting. And they drew Lightning Bolt. Man, their opponent's running hot. Opponent's run, runner runnered us here. Mm -hmm. All right. We are dead. I'm actually just going to go to the next game, I think. We have no recourse here. They have Titan. We give the draw like back to back thought seasons. I guess we'll keep playing. Whatever. We're basically dead. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want to even reveal that we're, we're using our graveyard that much. I'm just gonna concede. It seems like it's hard. It seems like a hard matchup. Typically, Valakit and the big mana decks tend to beat up on the mid range decks. Hence why they've returned to the format. All right. So let's bring in our pillages and. We don't got much for this matchup, honestly. We don't want Fatal Push. We don't really... I mean, Smiting Helix can race at least, I guess. Coligan's Command is also pretty bad. Need some Tunnel Ingus. That's what we need. I mean, the problem is once they cast Titan, we're going to lose anyway. Because we can't beat the, uh, the Valakits. Um... Gonna bail off. What enchantments do they have? I don't think they have any enchantments. I guess Campbell is okay. This matchup seems bad. Is brutality better than Dreadbore? Probably. It's tough. It's tough. Not easy. Not an easy one. Will I be pulling up a Goro's Vengeance deck at some point in this series? Probably not. That deck was already not good. And without looting, that deck is like... Whew. We're playing the decks that were like actively good to pretty good. So without looting, they can if they, go, if they go down a notch, they might still be good. But... I think that Gora's Vengeance deck was just never really good. I mean, we're going to keep. We have Pyromancer on two. Um, we're going to get probably Godless Shrine, I guess. Yeah, this just seems really hard. Definitely not a good matchup for us. We're going to keep. We're not going to scoop yet, but we're going we're gonna to keep playing, but... It is certainly real bad. Ransack the lab. That's pretty good, honestly. See, Pyromancer and just hope it doesn't die. Next turn we can Ransack and possibly Unearth. Could have maybe Brutality first, but this is just faster. They have a Bolt. They have a Bolt. What are we going to do, you know? Second search, and they shocked, so they definitely have a bolt. 
why wouldn't they just use it? Alright, well, we're going to, uh... You ransack first, I guess. You also get to have anger of the gods, I suppose. Ransack the laboratory. Look at the top three. Um, so we didn't hit it. Didn't hit any graveyard stuff. We had a lightning bolt though, which is fine. So bolt in our hand, brutality, and ransack in the graveyard. Uh, play land. Uh, attack skis. Fencer man, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. September. Dum 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 dum. So they shocked and didn't use the mana. Sure, it's fine by me. They shocked for nature's claim if I played Blood Moon. That's a good read. Good read, String Daddy. I like it. Good read. Don't know if I, I don't know if it's worth it or not. Look at a Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer plays. That sounds more reasonable. All right. I mean, I mean, we just can't. We just can't win this matchup. We have to draw like a, a pillage, basically. Um, I'm gonna bolt. I guess I'll bolt them, and then I can brutality the tribe builder. Could is it Phoenix play the blue version of Ransack? I don't think it's good enough. All right, Troy from Atlanta, going to school in Ithaca, playing Magic since RTR. Uh, favorite card: Consuming Aberration. Favorite deck is Mosa Del Toro's Band Control deck from the Pro Tour. Sweet. Update the deck list, you got it. I am here for you. Lingering Soul. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can cast Reveler this turn. We might just die, but we can do it. We're going to fetch a swamp, I guess. We're going to full escalate our brutality. Uh, we're going to Drain, Kill, Duress, discarding Unearth, and Lingering Souls. That's one, two, three, four, five. It's about to be said. They have Veil of Summer. All right, so they, that's, that stops everything. That's Tilt. Wow. All right, and then uh, I guess we're just going to fire in here. I will trade Tribe Elder for Pyromancer if it's what they have. Veil of Summer is very good. Veil of Summer is very good. Post combat, Bedlam, Reveler. I mean, this hand's been really, really good. It just like strategically, our deck just does not line up very well against their deck. So, like next turn, they can scape shift and kill us. They can get a Titan and probably kill us. We just can't really do much. We have no, don't really have much to interact with them. Opponent says, "GG, man!" in chat. They have Field of a Dead, too. Wow. All right. You win. An idea why Veil of Summer gives Hexproof and not Protection? Nope. No idea at all. So that's a really hard matchup. Marty Pyromancer has always struggled against Tron and Valakit, uh, the big mana decks. So might need to address that one going forward. Preemptive GG. Feels good, man. 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 Alright, let's do better. No Tron lands and no Valakits, please. 
It's also possible you could build this deck with more unearths and stuff, but then you're adding more creatures, and then you're making your revelers worse. Definitely a lot of ways to build it. The, the cool thing is that with Looting Gone, you really have to rethink how you're building your deck. So I think we've been experimenting a lot of different stuff here, and uh, we're getting there. We're hitting the right buttons. These are all first draft lists, you know. So going 3-2 with our Dredge deck and 3-2 with our Phoenix deck, both on basically first drafts. Feels fine. Punt and Mulligan's is 6. We're going to keep. In before Tron shift. Bed lamb. Is Tron Ship the thing? Could be. Could be. So on turn four, you sack your Ursus Tower, Ursus Tower, Forest, Forest, and you get Ursus Tower, Ursus Mine, Ursus Power Plant, Ursus Factory. Make it happen? Maybe. Maybe. Opponent. Oh, God. Oh, why did I even say anything? See, oh, see that's the, this is the problem right here. Um, everyone's like, ban Faithless Soothing, this is stupid. Ban Faithless Soothing, this is stupid. Well, I hope you enjoy playing against Valakit and Tron over and over and over again. It's like, that's the new format, you know, like. All right, uh, yeah, tap land, go. There's always annoying decks in modern. It's just modern. It's what modern is, you know. Yeah, I mean, we're probably, I might just, we have four cards in hand. Right now they have no idea what we're playing except for Battlefield Forge. I mean, uh, Battlefield Forge, Blood Crypt. So weird. Why would I say Battlefield Forge? Um, I'm just going to go next game. We're playing Blood Crypt deck. Go from there. Big mana decks have a pretty good matchup against looting. I mean, not against like the Hogak deck, but... Um, alright, so they're playing Tron. So, same problem. Pillages are in. Uh, Stony Silence is actually really good. So that, 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 that's an upgrade over Valakit. Campbell's fine. Um, I think I'm interested in, in wear and tear. Try and spike a, a map on turn two. Uh, no pushes. I mean, a lot of our cards are really bad. Uh, no brutalities. I'm going to cut the unearth. And then I'm going to cut two Lingering Souls, just like the super, this is the slowest card in the deck. Alright, let's try this. Fit Ashiok in the board? Um, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Again, these are all first draft lit deck lists, so there's definitely plenty of room for improvement. Yeah, I mean, Unearthing Fulminator Mage is cool, but like, the problem is Unearth isn't amazing in the deck anyway, so... Oh, I think I actually want this Dreadboard, too. Um, in case they actually resolve a Planeswalker. Um, Cole against Command is okay. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to cut a Souls or a Helix. Souls is so slow. Alright, I'll cut a Souls. K Command's okay. If you can ever kill an artifact with it and then make them discard a card, it's pretty good. Um, their hand size is usually a, a decent spot to attack because they often mulligan and um, they usually have one or two big cards, so... You can get one of them, it's pretty good. 
All right, this is basically the ideal hand. Uh, one drop, two drop, three drop. Thoughts he's threat, threat. We got to keep this one. You can't take out Inquisition because you can hit all their enablers. And then I think Smiting Helix isn't very good, but it's just at least a clock. You know, where we can try and clock them with these and then finish them off with the Helix. Shattered Assumptions. It's only good against Tron, though. It's not good against the uh, the Balak deck. We're looking for cards that have crossover. Planet Ball against a six. Oh. Ooh. Well. Maybe I shouldn't have scooped. Because they're playing Eldrazi Tron. The bad Tron deck. Okay. Um... Well, I probably still would have gotten crushed that game, but it does change everything. Uh, all right, <laughs> Ugly Tron. We're taking Dismember, and they have a. I guess they have all his dust and two Eldrazi temples. But yeah, eh. I saw them never casting this, but with two temples, maybe uh, maybe I could have done done something differently. But whatever, it's fun. Snow-covered mountain. Looks our life total matters. All right, peasy. Thought not seer. Yak 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 yak. <laughs> there is no deck in Magic I hate more than Aldrazi Tron. It is my my most hated deck by a significant margin. Significant. <laughs> oh boy. Ransack Cole against Command. Alright. Alright. For what reason? Because it's just a pile of cards, and when you draw the right ones together, it's like insanely powerful. But it has no plan, you know. It just sort of like does. Like this is this this is a perfect example. Perfect. They literally had temple, temple, wastes, scavenger ground, all is dust, dismember, and they've gotten turn two thought, not turn two reality smasher. <laughs> like, uh, but the thing is, they're gonna ban KCI. You know, that, that that's not gonna stick around for too long, but. <sighs> All right. It's odd that the Eldrazi Tron is too good. It's just like when it does this, it's just like. Ugh. All right. I think we're blocking. Um, we don't have a lot of ways to kill Reality Smasher, honestly. What's up, guard? Like, yeah, like, Eldrazi Tron's definitely not too good. It's just annoying. English and Cosmic. I mean, their hand is All is Dust, Scavenger Grounds, Card. Um, we Ransack. That's not really good right now. Hardcasting Lingering Souls is pretty embarrassing. I guess we can, like, get back Season Pyromancer. I don't think Kaya's Guile is a very good magic card. It is extremely slow. Eldrazi Tron is the slot machine of magic decks. They have Scavenger Grounds, too. It's pretty awkward. Alright. I mean... It's pretty hard to beat turn two thought not turn three smasher. I mean, maybe I should have done this before they could scavenger grounds, but we probably can't win. Probably can't win. They also have all his dust in their hands, so Bant Eldrazi. That's okay. I mean, at least the other Eldrazi decks have more of a plan, you know? Alright, so 
We get to Stone Rain them and make them discard a card. Again, the problem is we just don't have many ways to kill that. We also sideboarded for Classic Tron. So, yeah, we're, we're just dead. All right. That kind of sucked. Not going to lie. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, big Mana. Big Mana is pretty good against Marty Pyromancer. Uh... Let's play against a deck that's not a big mana deck. Can we do that? That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Everyone check out bcwsupplies.com, one of my sponsors. bcwsupplies.com, number one source for all your game shopping needs. Uh, they make the best game supplies on the market. Also, most cost effective as well. Don't pay like $15 for katana sleeves, all right? Get your BCW Deck Art Elite 2 sleeves, which are honestly, I think, better anyway. They're like, you buy them in bulk, you can buy five packs for like five fifty dollars each on their website. Also use my promo code Jim10 for 10% off your order. Yeah, it's six fifty. Buy five packs, six fifty each. Use my promo code Jim10 for 10% off your order, and buy some packs in advance. All right. Don't waste your money at a tournament. Don't go. Oh, I forgot to buy sleeves. Buy over fifteen dollars from the dealer at the tournament. You're a magic player. You're smarter than that. All right. Think ahead. Buy some sleeves. Save some money. And use that money to buy yourself one copy of Ren and Six. It's all you can afford, and I know that. I am so smart. All right. Can you like win a match here? Uh, we can't keep this hand. Can't keep the one lander. Um, this hand's better. This hand's definitely better. We're going to keep. I think we just pitched the Unearth. Um, it's just like the worst card of, of the rest of them, and like, we don't know if this is going to be a good a good matchup for this or not. We're playing against Tron again, it's just like a dead card. I think it's the worst card in our hand. So we're going to ship the Unearth. Alright, so we'll get a, a Sacred Foundry. Scalding Tarn, thank god. No more Valakit, no more Tron. Time for Amulet? Don't even start. Don't even start with me, alright? In before Spell Snare? Bring it. You can Spell Snare me, it's fun. I'll allow it. Mono Bluetron? Sweet. I mean, on Earth is obviously terrible against the, the big mana decks, you know? And we're only playing one. On Earth, on Earth is not a card you want to draw in your opening hand, usually, you know? It's possible on Earth is too cute. I threw one in, wanted to try it out. I want to try and find a little extra value for our ransacks, but God, I think these things are so ugly. Um, all right. I'm pretty fine just casting Pyromancer here. Um, I'm going to discard Lingering Souls and probably the other Pyromancer. Nah, actually, let's just discard the Ransack the Lab, I think. doing like they kept a seven card hand with no discard spell they haven't killed my creature it's a little weird young peasy old peasy all right like mana leak something it's fine with me all right sure that's great we got a nice grindy matchup here folks this should be better for us Might have been an argument towards casting Lingering Souls into their possible counterspell, but we weren't really sure what they were doing yet. Cascade Bluffs? In this economy? Wow. They have not Shadow, because they played a basic and didn't shock and stuff. Colgan's Command. We discard a card, two damage to my Pyromancer. Uh, that sucks. So it's like a Grixis control deck. I mean, we should be able to grind here decently well. We'll pitch Lingering Souls, I guess. And we're going to try and... That's pretty good. Try and play this uh, Pyromancer empty-handed. Uh, now we're going to Thoughtseize for sure. We're going to Thoughtseize and just, and just Souls. Probably. We'll see what their hand is. Their hand is Spell Snare. 
Nimble Obstructionist, Ral Zarek, is it Viceroy? Is a cube draft, or what's going on here? All right, well, we're taking the Ral Zarek. It is by far the best card in their hand. Um, got a player on Spell Snare, I guess, but... Lingering Souls, ahoy. We are on the O2 bracket. We are on the O2 bracket. Grixis Binder. Grixis Binder. Play Delta? Sure. And it's funny that they have Spell Snare, so it does turn off the cards in my hand. I could just Pyromancer, I guess. They could cycle to counter the Pyromancer's trigger, which isn't really that bad. Like... We play Mono Red Prowess or Azorius Blade at some point. Well, folks, as you can see on my September uh, thing, at 800 subs, I reopen Donation Bonus Leagues. So you make me play whatever you want. Throw money at me, I'll play literally anything. Keep it up, Jim. Less than three. Coral Dayton, 37 months, you the bomb. Thank you so much. Tier two also, Coral, thank you. I appreciate that. Um I could just like rip off a uh a ransack here and just get it, like to rest them for spell snare, basically. I think ransack might, might be better than brutality though. And I could I cast I cast Pyromancer, the Count of a trigger and draw a card. Brungle, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, so I have a Pyromancer in play, and they get rid of their Obstructionist. Is that even good? I want to cast this Pyromancer empty-handed. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast this. Whatever. Let him Obstructionist. Who cares? What happened to Burnsy? Burnsy passed away in January. Uh, so we miss Burnsy. He's well loved. He has he has his own token, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, respect for Burnsy. Nah, I'm done with those with sound effects. They piss me off. I'm tired of them. They're old. They're played out. All right, so they're gonna obstructionist my pyromancer, which is fine, honestly. Yes, Burnsy will live on in the hearts of everyone forever as the most famous gerbil of all time. We have a new stream friend. He's literally right over there. Sleeping as usual, and uh, at 900 subs, I reveal him to the world. So, September. Is that limit break? Uh, we're gonna have something new, but I, I don't have time to really work on it yet. I, that's a new computer thing. We're, we're getting there. Will I be on Versus Live at some point? Probably not. Damnation, sure. Uh, I'm down to do it, but I obviously write for cool stuff now. So, I mean, if Cedric wants to have me. I would do it. No, Burnsy was literally the most famous gerbil ever, yes. There is no doubt in my mind. Um, Coligan's Command. That is pretty good. I think we're just going to resolve this right now. They have three cards, one spell snare. Yeah. We're just going to snap resolve this while they're untapped. I mean, while they're tapped out, I mean. So get back Pyromancer, make them discard... Look at us actually playing Magic here. This is fun. Notch getting Trond. Alright. Upkeep, go. Spell Snares. Certainly awkward. Pyromancer. Cryptic sucks. Snapcaster. Okay. I mean, once we make some land drops and start flashing these Pyromancers back, we're going to be in pretty good shape, so... That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Discarded Spell Snare. Sweet. That's tight.
All right. We drew a land. Um, I think we're going to open on... A ransack first. Pyromancer, land, land. It's a lot of pyromancers. Um, I mean, our fifth land is actually pretty valuable because of a uh, because of um, flashing back pyromancer. But and if we cast one pyromancer, we'll have to discard the other one anyway. I'm gonna take the land. I think it's kind of weird, but. I guess if they have a counter spell, then they can counter Pyromancer, so our second Pyromancer is good, but like, he's putting in the graveyard, it's fine. We gotta take the land. And then we're gonna cast Brutality, I think, just to duress them. Yeah. So we can the the tokens will kill this Snapcaster Mage easily, so duress you. So they drew a cryptic command, looks like. Which is fine. Logic not. Sure. Leaving up two mana for some reason. Who knows, you know? Who knows? So now we're just going to go land, go, and keep flashing back Power Mancer until the, the cows come home. Is the mascot as awesome as Gritty? Yeah. Yeah. Your turn. Why X? I, I don't know. My opponent makes their plays. They live their life. I'm going to live my life. I don't know what they're doing. Left two mana open. We were tapped out. Already played a land. Pyromancer number one. Oh my god, are we going to get Nimble Obstructionist again? <laughs> Ola against Command, returning Nimble Obstructionist. Deal two damage to me. Wow. Now we're playing Magic. This is, this is better than Tron for sure. Alright, so we're going to... Four? What was my motivation for starting Competitive Magic? I don't know, I just like playing Magic? It was years ago, I don't know. Yeah. Getting Grixist. Um, probably not casting Thoughtseize ever. So... I think we just land Pyromancer here and try, try to draw some spells too. So now we're going to get at least one token and draw some spells. We have Smiting Helix in our deck too, which is kind of nice. All right, not a very good uh, two cards, but it's fine. They're going to go untap, bolt, bolt. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. They're not playing singleton. They have played two Coligan's commands. So they're not playing singleton. Goblin League is after this. Good lord, what is this? We're getting Cruel Ultimatum. Please be Cruel Ultimatum. Please. Please be Cruel Ultimatum. Awesome. Fantastic. Wonderful. Wonderful. Might as well be Lava Axe. The rest of those words don't matter.
This is the world we're living in right now. This is the world we're living in. Get browned by Valakit and Tron and play against Cruel Ultimatum Grixis. This is real life. This is happening. Let it resolve? No. Absolutely not. All right. Um, we're bringing in Campbell. We're bringing in Dreadboar. We're bringing in Nahiri. Um, don't mind Brutality. We're cutting Fatal Push, Fatal Push. Uh, I don't even want the Brutality, honestly. And then these, our Bolts aren't great either. I assume they have some Planeswalkers, but let's cut a Bolt too. Nile Spell Bomb is fine, but I'm cool with this. Let's go. Let's go. Modern in 2019. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on that. I just died to Cruel Ultimatum in Modern. Yes. This is a channel you clearly want to watch and subscribe to because I just died to Cruel Ultimatum in Modern. All right. Hands great. Keep. Yeah, this league's been a laugher so far. It's definitely uh, definitely the case. Raise your hand in chat if you drafted Anto Andrew Luck or Antonio Brown. Mm. The Raiders just cut Antonio Brown? That's gas. See, we do, we do our draft the day before the league starts. There was no problems at all with people retiring and stuff like that. If you missed my fantasy drafts, I'm in a 20-team league of Magic Pros and Magic Ringers. We're going into our sixth year. And uh, I've come in second three times in this league. I put the video on my YouTube. I draft, we drafted on Wednesday. So here it is. You can watch my entire draft. Or advertisements. Also. Don't watch the ads, though. Just my draft. All right. Upkeep. Sure. Sure. F and chat for Antonio Brown. Um, this is also somewhat just the illusion of diversity because it is a brand new format. Everyone's just trying stuff out. So, Lingering Souls. This is a definitely, definitely a hard cast Lingering Souls matchup. They told him they weren't going to guarantee his contract and it would be week to week. That is awesome. All right, so Mana Leaking Lingering Souls feels awesome for us because they Mana Leaked half my Lingering Souls and we got a token, so that's great. Faithless looting decks without faithless looting. Alright, so they're already at 14. It's pretty good. Um, Cold against command is fine at the moment. It's not amazing. Dreadboar is also kind of medium, but... Cold against command. Discard, kill Pyromancer. So we're going to discard a Smiting Helix. Bedlam Reveler. That's nice. Um, I think we're going to resolve our own Coligan's command here just to guarantee uh, it goes off. So, return Pyromancer, make them discard. Field of Ruin, sure. All right, so they've got Cryptic Mana up. Um, let's see. I like Godless Shrine because they have Field of Ruin in their deck. I'm going to make sure I have two white sources. Let's see what's... That's not bad. All right, first thing first, what's that? Let's attack. Let me decide if we want to cast this Pyromancer first or not. 
Um, and then flashback, ling we can flashback Lingering Souls. We can just Inquisition and then flashback Lingering Souls. We can do a lot of things here. Um, I kind of like this card spell first, I think. Even if it's better to cast spells with Pyromancer in play. Let's try and stick our Pyromancer. This obviously can't stop, can't take Cryptic, but at least we'll know it's there when we play around it. I think Phoenix is dead for good. We went 3-2 with our Phoenix deck. Um, wow. That is that is a play. Sure. Uh, we have one, two, three. We have four instant sorcerers in the graveyard. We're going to cast the... Uh, the Pyromancer. He might Reveler next turn. That is some cryptic command there. Yeah. You gotta protect your Nimble Obstructionist, you know? You gotta defend it. You can't play Nimble Obstructionist and not defend it. BMAT says, I will buy some sleeves from BCW with my code if I can help you with a problem. Which version of a sleeve? Gloss, matte, or matte anti-glare is better for foil cards? Uh, gloss is always better for foil cards. Um, I prefer the matte fronts. I think they shuffle better, and I just like the feel of them better. But the glosses, the mattes tend to wash out foils a little bit. And the gloss, the glossy ones show foils better. So I would say uh, gloss for sure. <laughs> Wes, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Just gotta get. You gotta give the. Uh, I gotta push here. Extirpate targeting lingering souls. Uh, one, two. All right, we can still cast our bedlam marvelers today. So it's okay. Monastery Mentor, uh, I think it's too hard in the mana base. It's not an appreciable uh, benefit over Young Pyromancer. Just kind of clunky. Alright. Discard Dread Boar, draw three. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, those are cards, I guess. They have three cards in hand. We have... A Helix, a Reveler, and a Discard Spell. We're, uh, we're like in medium shape right now. We're not in great shape. Extirpate. Not Surgical. Extirpate. My Lingering Souls are gone. Alright, well, we're going to cast this Inquisition of Kozilek and see what happens. Now we have a Bolt and a Spiting Helix, so they are dead on board. Depending on what they have. Gil from Melbourne, Australia. Awesome. That's a continent I've not been to yet. Been playing since RNA Standard. Favorite card of all time, Atog. Favorite deck is Blue White Heroic. Love it. Thanks, Gil. Appreciate it. Y'all great. September half price subs. Prowess Trigger. Their hand is Snapcaster, Snapcaster, Damnation. And they did not cast the Damnation. Wow. Um. Okay, well, they can Snapcaster Mage Coligan's Command and get back a Snapcaster Mage, I guess, but they can't kill the Reveler. We have Bolt and Helix. I think we Helix them right now. They can Snap Manalee, they can't Snap Cryptic. Like if they snap extra paid helix kind of sucks. So just do this. And then if they want to chump block the reveler, I just bolt the, the snap. And they're dead. So I think they're just dead. Battle Reveler is the nuts. This card is so good. Alright, Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster targeting Coligan's command. Yeah, they're dead. All right, you know, you know their hand is damnation. Yeah, they're dead. Gotcha. 
No cruel ultimatums this game, my friend. Sorry. Sorry to shut that one down. The black card flashback was Smiting Helix. It is a 4 mana Lightning Helix that flashes back for black, I'm sorry, for red and white. New Modern Horizons card. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. All right, game three. Um, extirpate's a little annoying. Almost makes me want to like shave down a Lingering Souls a little bit, but Plague Engineer is also, you could name Wizard, it kills Obstructionist and Snapcaster Mage, but I think I'm pretty happy with where, I'm at, where I am. I'm just gonna keep it as is. Just run that back, you know? I agree. They should have cast Damnation for sure. Don't know why they didn't. Like, cast Damnation, they win that game super, super easily. Oh man, super awkward. Um, Alright. Mana base here, not... <laughs> not the greatest, but we get a Swamp. Blank position. Tarawan Mountain is uh, a little weird. Alright, so they have Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bo Bolt, Fatal Push, Coligan's Command. So their hand is terrible. Um, they can double bolt my Reveler, I suppose, but I'm taking Coligan's Command for sure because we're playing a longer game and saying go. And we will play the game accordingly. Um... I don't even know if I thought sees yet. I don't think I do. I'm just gonna play a, a land and say go. I'm just gonna tap Blood Crypt. Hopefully we draw Faithless Looting so we can loot away some lands. I got some bad news for you, my friend. F and chat for for Faithless Looting. Alright, blued crypt. Sure, you got it. Absolutely. You get a mountain. So we've we've we protect, protected our white source from a uh, from that. That's good. Now they've got five cards in hand. They have bolt, bolt, push. We've drawn another land because why not? Um. Do we wait one more turn to cast uh, thought seeds? I don't think so. Up. Oh, they've drawn two lands also. All right, so we'll take the lightning bolt, and we're gonna fetch again. Brave resub. What's up, Jim? Let's get to that one K, boys. No, the goal is uh, the goal is nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine subs. That's exactly what I want to get. Not a single one more. Not a single one more. Uh, we are 0-2, but we lost to Valakit and Tron, which are both terrible matchups for uh, Marty or Pyromancer either way. So, we're almost out of lands here. Jeez. Uh, how about a spell? That's a spell. It doesn't really do anything at the moment, but it's a spell. Um, I'm going to keep fetching, because I don't want to draw any more lands. I'm sorry, 999. Not 9,999. I guess I would take 9,999 subs, you know? I wouldn't complain about it. Alright, play the island. So you go. I mean, now they have Cryptic Command mana. I mean, they're playing that card, but... Alright, well, we are almost out of fetchable lands. Don't draw Swamp. God damn it, that's even worse. Alright. Um, their hands push, bolt, and two mystery cards. Our hand is a bajillion lands. Um, I'm going to fetch Swamp. 
I'm gonna say go. This has been the, the worst game of Magic ever. They play Delta, say go. Yeah, at 10,000 subs, I will definitely do a 168 hour stream. No problem. Me, Nicole, and John will take shifts. All right, so I have zero fetchable lands, and I have one, two, three, four, five. There are seven lands left in my 43 card deck. Which all but guarantees I'm going to draw a land next turn. Nope. We did it. We did it. Spell Snare. You got it. At least we're doing stuff now. Thank God. We're so getting cruel. Ultimatum is not even funny. Uh, their hand's Bolt Push Card. I mean, I can resolve Coligan's Command here. Through a Cryptic. I suppose it is super awkward uh, when your opponent's playing Cruel Ultimatum and you both just only play lands. That is that is a scary place to be. They discarded the Fatal Push? Sure. I think beating a Cruel Ultimatum is actually a possible thing, given our hand. We just untap, play Reveler. They don't get a creature back. We lose three cards. It's just like draw three for them, basically. And they don't play a land? Oh, boy. All right. Young Pyromancer. Resolves. Oh. I'm actually scared of the card Cruel Ultimatum. This is the world we're living in. I'm trying to play around Cruel Ultimatum. So I want to go land Pyromancer, but if they have Cruel Ultimatum, we can't win if that happens. Um, I don't want to play play Reveler yet. We can, but... all right. I, you know what? I think I might lose a Cruel Ultimatum. I'm okay with it. I'm totally cool with it. Let him do it. Go ahead. Cast Cruel Ultimatum. There are two lands off? Never not. They have black, 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 blue, blue, red. And they have dual lands. Any land that's not a Field of Room will do it. So they untapped and didn't bolt. They have a Wrath. They have Kalidus. Uh, that card's good. What's up, Nathaniel? How's it going, my friend? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Uh, we're on day four of 20 days in a row for September. How's it going? If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button, of course. Watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Well, Bedlam Reveler, you got some work to do, my friend. I'm not going to lie. Ransack the lab. All right, we're going to start there. Spell snare again? God, so unreal. All right. Two spell snares. All right. This thing costs four. So I can't dread bore, most likely, which kind of sucks, honestly. They only have... They only have... I guess that. They only have one card left so we don't know about. All right. Yeah, these things are heinously ugly, so... Thoughtseize. And fetchable land that... Or doesn't fetch any lands. All right, well... Let's see if their last card's Cruel Ultimatum. Nah, I hope it is. It's Damnation. That's also really good, so that's good for us. Alright. Um, they got nothing. They got Kalidus and no, no cards in hand. This is my Ultimatum mana. I understood that reference. Dan, you texted me. I'm sorry. What did you? Uh, I saw your text. So I didn't look at it. You want to want to ride to uh, Frank's? Yeah, sure. We're, Dan, we're going early. We're going to uh, we're going to get Indian beforehand. Is that, is that cool with you? We're going to leave at like four. Um. Yeah, this is a pretty easy block. I mean, if I drew another bolt, my brother is going to die. 
which would kind of suck. So maybe I don't block the zombie. Like, they would have to have to draw it. I guess Cole against Command also does it. I'm not going to block. This is fine. I'll take two. All right, sweet, Dan. Sounds good. Nicole does not get that reference. All right, well, I'll explain it to you. So, um, Pro Tour Finals. Uh, was it the finals? It was at least the top eight. Uh, Nassif and LSV are playing. And LSV is playing, like, a black-white tokens deck. It's standard. And Nassif is playing, like, the five-color control cruel ultimatum deck. And Nassif's, like, dead on board. And no cards in hand. Here we go. We can watch it. Right. I don't want. I don't want to get YouTube pinged. But basically, he organizes his lands to cast Cruel Ultimatum with no cards in hand, and then just draws Cruel Ultimatum and casts it. It was awesome. Reveler again. That's pretty good too. All right, I think we're I think we're in good shape now. Ransack has him pretty good. What we got here? Pyromancer Bolt Black Leave Cliffs. Uh, that's super awkward. Let me just take the the bolt, I guess, because Pyromancer, like, we can't cast Pyromancer and keep our Reveler, so. so let's take the bolt. Um, we're going to bolt them. I could bolt Kalidus. That's a little ambitious, though. I have to draw another bolt. But I do have two bolts left in my deck, I believe. Um... Beating Kalidus is kind of hard right now. All right, no guts, no glory. Let's do it. All right, and then red, red. Bedlam Rebels. Lightning Bolt. Not quite, but also not bad. I mean, the problem is we have to, like, beat this Kalidus straight up, which is kind of tough. Um, it is basically a Baneslayer Angel at this point. But we're dealing a good amount of damage, so. What's up, Anski? Um, lab's been good so far. Ransack the lab. There's a, the fundamental problem of this deck just being bad against big mana decks and big mana decks being pretty popular. But the deck has played well for the most part, otherwise. Tezzeret the Schemer. And this is not just playing, like, Grixis cards they own, but make a treasure token, or whatever, an Ethereum cell, sure. Yes, you can, Nicole. Ugh, oh, we found the Lightning Bolt. Alright, so we're gonna attack with our Revelers and just try and kill Escalatus. Um, do I even care about this thing? Target gets minus X, minus X for number of artifacts you control. Sure. Um, cast souls, cast souls, bolt, yeah. Attack with, uh, I don't think I care about Tezzeret. I don't think. I mean, like, they're 15, so. And then if they don't block, we can attack with everything next turn and bolt whatever they block. So, could I have just killed them? 5, 10, no, it was one short of, 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 of bolting them to kill them, so. How much for me to play a deck and not give out the deck list? What do you mean? Does everyone have their survivor picks in? Uh, I hope so. Oh, it is. It, is, it was lethal. I'm so stupid. I it, it's too prowess. I'm an idiot. I just I just counted it as plus one. I'm dumb. Whatever. One, two. We're still gonna win anyway. 
Yes, subs only, Survivor League. There's a chance that you can still join, but I don't think so because the first game already happened. Um, it's in the uh, the Discord. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's fun. They get a zombie too. It's annoying, but. I mean, they're just dead. It doesn't matter, so. We take with everything. Whatever whatever Cletus blocks, we bolt, and then there's, there's dead, so. Tezzeret can minus to kill a 1 1, I suppose. But. Air attack also works. It doesn't matter what we do, we just win. Um, we haven't really got a feel for the deck yet because you lost two big mana decks and now we're playing against like Grixis pile of cards and we're about to win, so another season pyromancer? Alright. Um doesn't really matter what we do. I mean they could have like a counter spell or something. I talk with everything, they block here, block here. And then I bolt the thing they block. Whatever. Yo, yeah, well obviously we, we we attack with not the reveler if we attack with we attack with all the elementals and the pyromancer and the whatever, but this is also just fine. So whatever. Attack you bolt, you're dead. You need a Yahoo account. You are too lazy to go with the effort. Well, if you're too lazy to go through the effort, you can't play. Sorry. It's not, it's not that hard. <laughs> Metallic Rebuke would be gas. All right. So you won. We haven't, I feel like we haven't actually played a match of Magic yet. We have we got crushed by Tron. We got crushed by Valakit. We just played against, like, Grixis cards. We're playing Mardu Power Master without looting. We're playing uh, Ransack the Lab. Again, folks... If you missed my article on CoolStuffInc.com yesterday, I went over all the decks we're playing on stream today. Um, article topic, looting decks without looting. Dredge, Phoenix, Pyromancer, it's all in there. Uh, possible replacement cards, how to play the decks maybe. And uh, check it all out, CoolStuffInc.com. Also use my promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. We're playing Reveler without looting, so you have Ransack the Lab. Ransack the Lab is just as good as looting when it comes to casting Revelers. So this sounds great. Uh, Dredge went 3-2. It'll be up on YouTube. Ooh. Okay. Nice thought, Seize, idiot. Alright. Um. It's <sighs> so awkward. Oh, that's so awkward. Oh, God. Alright. And then if they have an Eidolon on two, it's also awkward. This sucks. We have two main deck brutalities. Or like one. I don't know. We have Smiting Helix too. Alright. The problem is that we bolt the Goblin Guide. We can't discard spells safely next turn because we fetch a Swamp. Alright. No, we're going we're gonna to bolt. We can't just take two damage from this Goblin Guide. I'm just going to bolt and say go. Wait. Oh, I guess that's... Fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna cast all these anyway. It's fine. Fetch shock thought sees. I guess you can't make the land fetch shock joke anymore, can you? All right, Goblin Guide. What do you got for me? Black Cleave Cliffs is tight. That is a nice one. Alright, so no Eidolon, please. They play Eidolon. We're probably going to play Tap Land and say go, and then Cole against Command at the following turn. We're playing Lingering Souls. Explanation point deck, my friend. All my friends in chat. Explanation point deck to see my deck list. Or go to the article to see all the deck lists and many, many words written about them. 
They skewered us. That's cute. Because we, we, we cracked the fetch land. That's adorable. Okay. Oh, my God. All right. That's a really good one. Um, we're going to Inquisition here. Um, and then set up... I want to kill a creature with this if possible. So... Yeah, Stream Decker is going the way of a dodo. We got some new stuff coming up. Um, we have two new sponsors, which I'll be announcing soon. Their hand is Land, Land, Lightning Bolt. How embarrassing. Oh, they had Rift Bolt. I missed it. Okay. I, that, that's why their land was tapped. I was confused. So we're at 11 with a Brutality. And Brutality isn't even that good anymore, honestly, because they don't have any stuff, but... All right, well, now it's good, so. So, Smiting Helix, too? Oh, my God. Lordy, Lord, Lord. Um, We're going to pitch. What are we going to pitch here? I want to pitch. I think you just pitch the land. So I want to hard cast Smiting Helix. Um... You can still join the league? Oh, wow. Awesome. I'll, I'll talk about that in one second once I figure out why to play this turn. I mean, Ransack's good. I like Ransack. We're not going to duress them. They have, they, have a, they have a land in their hand. Um, we had to pick, pitch, pitch Ransack, actually. All right. Minus two, minus two, drain. Sure. I guess it's fine. I guess our hand's already made. So I'll explain the Fantasy League right now. So all new subs, all potential subs, all current subs. Important announcement. I said important announcement. We have a special Survivor Football League for subs only on this stream. What does that mean? Well, I'll show you. It's a free game to play based on the NFL football season. All right? Every week... You pick one team to win. Real simple. If they win, you stay in. If you lose, if they lose, you're out. Can't pick the same team twice. That's it. Free prizes are my sponsors. Prizes will be announced soon. We already have 92 players. Even if you don't know what football is, you can just pick a team every week and try and win. It's free to play if you're a sub. The link to join is in the Discord. Um, if you're a new sub and you can't handle that, I can help out with that as well. All right? We're going to have 92 players. Let's get some more in here. And God bless po Pofo for choosing the Packers. All right. Untap. Draw. Lingering Souls. I'm just going to hard cast smite, smite, Smiting Helix. The old flashback Lightning Helix. You love it. How does one get into a Discord? Information is in chat right now. All you have to do is link your Twitch and Discord. It's pretty simple. If you're a new sub, it does take about an hour for it to, like, work together so um definitely be aware of that and a mod can help you with the link to join if you are a new sub all right uh all right i guess we're just gonna helix the eidolon and play pyromancer Oh, it cost four, too. That's awesome. I didn't even consider that. I'm, I actually cast the Pyromancer first. That's awesome. I didn't, want to take, I didn't want to take four damage to do it, but obviously it's a flashback for two, but it actually costs four. I think it's still... I don't think one token's worth two damage, so... Searing Blaze, sure. Bedlam Reveler currently costs three. Uh, we're going to call against command on their draw step. Uh, return that, you discard. The next turn we can cast Reveler and Pyromancer. They drew a bolt or an instant, they can cast it. Fiend, new sub, what's your name, where you're from? Welcome, my friend. But yeah, everyone join the Survivor League. It's a lot of fun. All right, is your Boros Charm the actual best card? Sure. All 
All right, so land is cool. Uh, so Pyromancer, Reveler. Three fresh ones, your turn. I believe it would take a lot for them to win this game. I don't think it's possible. That's not going to do it. Alright, another Lingering Soul? Sure. Discard Lingering Souls and land. Draw Lingering Souls and land. Sure. Uh, flashback. Lingering Souls. One Das. Resub. Welcome back. I'll classify this game as not particularly close. Sure. At nine life, I think we're sitting pretty pretty here. Like, I don't think that, uh... Maybe they draw, like, three running lightning helixes. But they're... Nah, it doesn't even work. So they're just, like, dead on board. Craft, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Alright. This should be a pretty good matchup for us. Um, we have Brutality and Smiting Helix. And now we're bringing in Campbell... Another brutality. So we have two main deck brutalities. You know, we have a third brutality, and we're gonna cut. Thoughtsies, thoughtsies, thoughtsies. We need to add one more card in. I mean, Dreadbore is also pretty bad. I actually don't mind Nahiri because Nahiri can kill an Eidolon without taking any damage, which is kind of cool. Um, Ransack's been good. I like it. It's been good. Um, yeah, it's fine. Dreadboar is not great, but I think it's better than the other options. All right, new subs. You got AJ from West Virginia playing since ROE. Endrick Sar's favorite card. And jump on the card. <laughs> that's sweet. Christian from Charlotte playing since the Arena Beta. Awesome. That's great, Christian. New Magic players are great. On Earth has not been great. I agree. Again, this is the first draft. You can view those deck lists on my article. Wow. 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 Keep. Keep, keep, keep. This is a hand. Opponent mulligans to six. We have to be like 80% to win this game or something. Mountain. Rift Bolt. Yeah, that feels pretty good. All right. I just, I just love Bedlam Riddler so much. Alright, uh, Inquisition. Their hand is Boros Charm, Lightning Helix, Searing Blaze. Definitely Boros Charm. Your turn. Untap, draw a Goblin Guide. How good of a strategy is it to pick whoever the Raiders play against? A good strategy. Um,. A year ago or two years ago, I just picked the person that the Browns played against. Is it the Browns? Who was the O and like the one in the O and sixteen team? I picked them every single week. It was great. I picked the team against them every single week. All right. Unearth. Unearth actually looks kind of cool here. We can pitch the Pyromancer. Um, the Browns. Yeah. All right. So we're going to uh, two mode brutality pitching Pyromancer. Oh, the Browns are going, to be, are, going to, are going to be good this year. They're actually going to be very good, probably. But they drew another Boros Charm. Sure. So go to 12, back to 14. Take the Lightning Helix. And say go. Play Phoenix already, yes. Phoenix went 3-2. Dredge went 3-2. Uh, Bathwater Dredge, as it was, it was dubbed. Both those will be on the YouTube. Missed them. I put out a YouTube video almost every day. So... We'll be on there. Don't want to miss him. Second Reveler, not as good as the first, but uh, we're going to unearth. It's our first unearth of the league. And obviously they have, they have, a, they have a Searing Blaze, it's fine. Uh, we're going to pitch the Lingering Souls and the Bedlam Reveler. We're going to draw Pyromancer. Okay. 
could shock here and play Lingering Souls, but... Eh, you probably should. You got four spells in the bin. Yeah, let's... I could just cast the Pyromancer, too. On it. I'm going to just cast, cast Pyromancer. They can kill it with Blaze, but it only, it only does us one. I want to empty my hand for Reveler anyway, so... I started playing the Phoenix League yesterday. I finished it today. Uh, my son had a hockey game, and I, I helped coach the team. So, I, uh, unfortunately, the Dredge League was like three and a half hours. It took so long for some reason. We played against, like, the Bant Flicker deck. They, like, went to time. They timed out on us. It just it was a really, really long league. It took longer than I thought it would. I thought it would so, that's a awkward draw, but so we're at 11. I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, this currently costs four, so we're going to flashback souls. Play land, play go, say go. We can bolt them, cast Reveler. We're in good, we're in good shape here. I, I doubt we're uh, any trouble here. So, sloth. Yeah, give it like an hour. Don't keep up the good work. Less than three. Not Jake. Risa, welcome back. Thank you. Grim Lava Mancer. Uh, toasty. So we're at eight, and they have zero cards. I feel pretty good here. We draw Fatal Push. Gone. All right, goes four. That's kind of ugly, but sure. Um. They go to ten. Yeah, it would take running Boros Charms, probably, and there's already two Boros Charms accounted for, so... That's game! How do you feel about Tome Scour and Dredge? You want to know how I feel about Tome Scour and Dredge? Read the article I just wrote. Look, finding replacements for Faithless Looting. Coolstuffinc.com. I talk all about Tome Scour and Dredge. I played Tome Scour and Dredge uh, on stream yesterday. That'll be on YouTube as well. So, All right. We are two and two. We are X and big mana. X and big mana. One might want to follow me on Twitter at Jim Davis MTG. Give me a follow, of course. You always know when I'm going live, and uh, you can see the deck list. This is really funny. I like this screenshot. P person played Microsynth Lattice, and um, I believe this was Annalise. Annalise had a Trash Master in play and just killed all of her lands. It's awesome. We got Crushed by Valakit and Crushed by Tron. Give me a follow on Twitter, at MTG. Avenge the Fallen. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, any Stoneforge decks? We're playing those. Uh, we'll play those eventually. Um, I'm playing a Stoneforge deck in my vi on my video for Cool Stuff Inc. on Monday. I played the Black White Stoneforge Pock deck. It was good. You're not going to want to miss that video. No spoilers, but it went well. Um, Zimplify, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. And uh, we're playing Goblins after this league because we hit our first sub goal. So, Goblins is next. This hand is dope. Hopefully our opponent's, our opponent's playing Burn again. Leyline of Sanctity. Oh my god. Y'all want to ban Faithless Looting. So now instead of playing against Dredge and Phoenix, we get to play against Boggles and Valakut. Uh, Medusa wants to know... John Lim's deck was... built weird. Um, I think his deck is fine, but, I mean... Ugh. We probably just can't win, right? Like... Nice Thought Seize, nice Brutality, nice Fatal Push. Yeah. Y'all wanted to ban looting. You're all complaining. Well, the format wasn't interactive enough. Well, here you go. Boggles with Leyline of Sanctity. Everything is hexproof. Very interactive. Kaya's Guile stinks. Scoop before they know what we're on. We might. We might. Where am I upkeep? Yeah, 
Yes, I think banning looting, looting was a mistake. I wrote an article about that last week. Type in Jim Davis banning looting mistake. You'll find it on Google. It'll be, it'll be the top uh, thing. Uh, all right, so he probably just scoop here, honestly. I mean... <laughs> the main deck ley line is also just like... Ugh. Like, we just can't win. I mean, none of our cards do anything. We, have no, we don't have a fast clock. One of the problems of playing mid-range and modern is, is this, that, like, without a fast clock, you can't just do your thing faster than your opponent when you can't interact with their thing. You just can't interact and, and just die. So, that sucked. Um, all right. Well, let's bring in our explosives, our wear and tear, our Nahiri, our Campbell... Tiger's Rule, new sub, what's your name, where are you from, welcome my friend. And our Plague Engineers, and we're going to cut our Pushes, our Dreadbore, our Brutalities, and probably the Unearth. Nolan from Kansas, playing for seven years, favorite card, Fire Made Avenger, favorite deck, Monored from RTR, Gate Crash Standard. Nolan, thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. I mean, I guess this is it. All right. Godspeed us, I guess. Play a mountain, make them think we're on burn. Is Brutality better than Bolt? No. Um, they, they still have a core, or whatever it's called, and... They uh, might have a Dryad Arbor, and then Bolt goes to the face also. Why Smiting Helix over Lightning Helix? Because we put it in the graveyard. It's a free value thing. We like free value. Big Botch, resub. Welcome back. Amusingly enough, we're going to keep this hand, because Explosives is just that important. We're going to keep. We drew a 1 of Explosives. Can get a... Uh, Sacred Foundry. Alright, yeah, you got it. Your turn. Boggles. Oh, modern. Modern, 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 modern. Yeah, don't sleep on this card. I like this card. I think someone may be. I think someone's stealing from my laboratory. It had better not be you. All right, so Sacred Foundry. Ransack the laboratory. Don't draw thoughtsies. I mean, Liliana could maybe be a thing in this deck. We're not playing Blood Moon, so we can hit the double black. Reasonably consistently. Land, Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls. Um, I mean, we don't really need a land. So, while putting two souls in the graveyard is pretty sweet. Um, we're just going to take one. We're probably going to hard cast souls next turn. So, yes, bolt, bolt myself. I'm the only legal target. Ha ha ha. Stop making fun of me! Alright, so... No Umbras, please. That's what we're looking for here. No Umbras. <laughs> Why do I talk? Um... Stoneforge is a possibility in this deck, but it doesn't play very well with the other cards. Alright, Seasoned Pyromancer. That's fine. We're going to discard the Lingering Souls and the Bolt, I think. <laughs> oh my god, this has been like the League from Hell. Uh, block. 
Snap block. Is there a plan here or? No, the umber saves the boggle. All right, they do have a plan, sure. They had a plan. And now we have 100,000 lands. <laughs> Yeah, where's Goober? All right. Spell. <laughs> it's actually unreal. All right. Um, we're going to fetch, I guess, and play two Lingering Souls. It's only a 2-2 so far, you know? And the... The explosives can still kill the enchantments. So, like, we can't kill the boggle itself, but at least we could kill, you know, the cornet or whatever. So. I mean, I like the card Kaya, which would be really good here, honestly. Again, there's a lot of ways to build these decks. A lot of different ways. These are all just first drafts. You gotta start somewhere. A lot of things that could be done. Um, I do like the card Kai as a Planeswalker. Kai as Guile is... I'd be willing to try it, I guess, maybe as a one-of, but... Kenobi. Let people enjoy things. I don't like foils. I think they're dumb, but if people enjoy them, that's great. You know? Seismic Assault could be a possibility, yes. They have five cards in their hand. I don't know what they're uh, thinking about. Hey, we beat the Cruel Ultimatum deck, thank you. Good old Boggles. Good old Boggles. Land, attack step. Do I block this time? No. What are they doing? What the hell's in their hand? I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on at all. <laughs> this is actually completely unreal. Uh, all right. But they, they missed land drops, so like... Hopefully, yeah, hopefully their hand is Ley Line, Ley Line, Ley Line, Path to Exile. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I mean, Faithless Looting would be good in this board state. That is true. You are correct. Yeah, they're going to go um, uh, Ethereal Armor, Ethereal Armor, Ethereal Armor, kill us. All right, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's an attack for two. We'll take it. We'll take it. Why why play the explosives? Now I might want to play the, We're not going to play this until we use it. So... Yay! All right, so if we play explosives now, we can kill the Umbra and the Scout. But I don't think that's worth it, honestly. We're not losing to any of these cards. And if they play like a Coronet or some better enchantment, I'll be able to kill that instead. So... I guess our light total matters are such stop fetching at this point. Thinning our deck is not worth one life. Wait a minute. Dryad Arbor? I'll bolt the shit out of that Dryad Arbor. Nope. All right.
Oh, man. All right, Umbra City. This has been the most pathetic game of Magic I've ever seen. I've said it like 17 times this league, too. Spell. That's a spell. That's a spell. Thank you for that. Ransack the lab where? Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Um, so we are going to play explosives on one. Now we have where available also too. Now we actually have a tricky play, too. So we can play Explosives on one. And then if they play a better enchantment on one of these, we can, like, kill the Umbra and then kill the creature with wear. So wear, pop, yeah. Who's pump for goblins? We're playing goblins next. Nope, Totem Armor saves from, saves from anything. If a Chanted Creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. Oh, tear, whatever, yeah. Goblins without looting, correct. Don't have time to see Goblins live? Well, watch it on YouTube. Pet to Exile, my Pyromancer. So, like, how much I save that bolt, honestly? That's fine, then. Not a problem. That's funny. This thing has reach. Um... So, this is really good for us. We just block and then pop the explosives, and then the boggle dies. Maybe I should actually kill this Umbra first. Like, kill the Umbra, then pop the explosives, then everything dies except for the boggle, and the boggle dies in combat. Right? Yeah. So destroy this. Pop this. And what is in their hand? Like, you know? Maybe they have more paths, I guess. Their hand's like Leyline, 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 path, path, path. Scout, sure. Griff's Boon? Awkward. Maybe they are ghosting. Why would they hold both of those? I don't often accuse my opponent of ghosting, but that's pretty weird. <laughs> that's pretty weird. Season Pyromancer. Okay. Um, ransack the lab. Coligan's Command, Inquisition, Season Pyromancer. Sure. Alright, so... I mean, as long as I draw Coronet, I think we're fine. I mean... Leveling out a sandbagged one of explosives for like 10 turns is pretty out there, you know? Alright, um... Yeah, Coligan's Command can't do anything. So... Doesn't really matter what I draw, honestly. It's... Gonna go in the graveyard anyway. I mean... They are dead next turn, so no lifelink, please. Or no second ethereal armor. A second ethereal armor will also do it.
don't do it. And SADS number two, if you are watching, make sure you follow the stream, right, my friend? That's not bad. Um, Reveler. No, I think leaving one spirit back is too is too uh, too conservative. All right. Let's see if we can steal when I'm a draw here. Can they, can they just like not have ley line, please? That'd be really cool if it like, didn't have Leyline in like, one of these games. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Um, Alright, let's run it back. Yeah, we crushed Burn. Valakut, Drawn, and Boggles. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Boggles is actually insanely awful if they don't have Leyline. Because on the play, you just thought he's their one Boggle. You can win a lot of games like that. Uh, but, but yeah. Oh, excuse me. Last game with Marty Pyromancer, and then we got Goblins next. Played as at Phoenix. Missed that one up on YouTube. Again, September. We're doing great. Uh, we hit our first goal. We're only four days into our 20 days straight. First goal achieved. We're at 617 right now. It's awesome. Next goal is Arena Viewer Challenge Day. Then we got Reopening Donation Bonus Leagues. We got Stream Mascot. He's right over there. He wants to meet you. He's, he's really cool. And then we're going to stop. We're not going to do 1,000. We're going to do 999 and stop right there. All right? Cool? Cool. Oh, my God. I mean, Plague Engineer can kill Boggles, like, if they're not pantsed up yet. It's better than, like, a Fatal Push. Donation Bonus League costs are still being worked on. Everything will be announced when um, we hit the goal. Do I think as Soul Herder deck with Sahili Cats could be good? I don't think so. Pyromancer has been weird because we we played against so many terrible matchups. It's hard to even know how good this deck is. Uh, I mean, we're gonna keep this and pray we don't have a, a ley line. Opponent also mulligan to six, so we're gonna ship the Smiting Helix. I guess if they do have Leyline, at least they'll have a five-card hand to start. Oh, thank God, no Leyline. All right. Thoughtsies. Okay. I guess it's just uh just swamp. Um I mean getting swamp is kinda awkward. I don't want to take a million damage though, because we're probably going to be racing. But Swamp doesn't cast Bedlam Reveler. And then if our next land is Sacred Foundry, it's a little awkward. I could always get Godless Shrine and then get Mountain. It's also, I mean, I'm shocking either way. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other, I guess. We'll just get the Swamp. So we might end up casting Thoughtseize next turn anyway, yeah. So next turn we might go Thoughtseize Tap Land, depending on what they have in their hand. So. Their hand is Daybreak Coronet. Core Spirit Dancer, Slippery Bogle. So, that's really good for us because their hand is terrible. And we also have a Bolt, a bolt Target. Um, we're taking Coronet. Ideally, they cast Spirit Dancer, we Bolt this Dancer, and then Thoughts use the other card. That's been pretty good, honestly. So, take Coronet. Say go.
Excuse me. Not that you can hear it, but I burped. Assuming they aren't ghosting, I guess that is true. I guess that is true. I did not consider the fact that my opponent may still be ghosting. As we, I'm not someone to accuse anyone of ghosting basically ever, but they played last game in a really fishy manner. So, all right. Um, so the problem is that I would like to cast Pyromancer before I cast spells. However, if they draw any one mana aura, they can put it on the Spirit Dancer, we lose instantly. So... We, we probably just need to thought seize the Spirit Dancer. Any standard today? No. Standard is currently a deader than dead format. I will not be playing standard, most likely, until Throne of Eldraine comes up. Alright, whatever. We're not going to risk it. We get to play a tap land here, too. So, Hopefully, our Pyromancers can beat the two Boggles and no Auras currently. Alright, Rank War isn't that bad, actually, because, um, obviously Pyromancer tokens block it pretty well, so... Let's get, uh, Sacred Foundry. Taking four, and we have Pyromancer plus Bolt. Young. Young, 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 young. Explosives off the top would be nice. That would be sweet. Dryad Arbor? Sure. I guess we're about to find out if they're ghosting or not, so. Oh, Plague Engineer? Good lordy, lord, lord. Let's draw Plague Engineer. Play Legacy Lands, please. Donation bonus leagues reopened 800 subs. I'll play anything you want for money. So, all right. They are not ghosting. So we take three here. Okay. Four money. I'll do anything for money. Sell out with me. Oh, yeah. Put your sellouts in chat, please. Put those dollars. Jim D, sell out. All right. There's your Rancor. Another scout? God. Oh, there it's their ones. I'll take Plague Engineer. I'll take Ransack the Lab. That's what I want, actually. I mean, I could have traded with the Boggle, I guess, but... Lingering Souls? Uh, that also plays. Yeah, we're just casting this before we cast anything else. It's a million blockers. Tap land. Um... I think we just say go. We could attack and offer it, but... Alright, I mean, they have a lot of really big uh, big draws here. Uh, Cornet, uh, the first strikey thing. That's a good start. That's a good start. Uh, Phoenix went 3-2. Um, it still seems solid. You'll sub right now. If you play Sellout, want to do, I'll queue it up for you. I'm queuing up sellout for you to, for you to, uh, nothing to see here. You didn't see that. I mean, this is obviously fine. I could, I could soak up some damage, but I don't think I need to. Uncle Carbuncle. With me again. Uh, 
Rancor, yeah, whatever. Uh, where is it? Happy? Happy? Uh, I think Blood Crypt is fine. Wag, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Alright, we are doing a lot this turn. We're actually going to cast the Inquisition. Because they just uh, cycled Canopy, right? And they could have drawn something good. Yeah. Alright, they did not. I should probably it's act first. Eh, maybe not. And I would happily trade here, I think, so... This is fine. Is it worth it to see Rubik Fish for 150 bucks? Probably not. I mean, have you ever seen them before? Like, they're fine. I like Rubik Fish, but I would not pay 150 to see them. Alright, so they are passing back. Untap. Big draw step. Love it. Love it. Four tokens to tag with everything. They've already used their uh, Dryad Arbor, right? Yep. Paul, resub. That's month number two. Welcome back, my friend. That's the important month. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Um, I do follow competitive StarCraft, not like super hardcore. Um, I haven't watched the WCS, uh, the recent one. I watched. I usually watch them on YouTube, like after the fact. I watch some of the matches. I'll watch it live if I can, but I usually don't get a chance to. I know Serral tweeted that he 4 0 or he 4 0 obviously, because he's, he's Serral. Alright, so, we beat Boggles. That's nice. We went 3 2, right? Yeah, we went 3 and 2. So, 3 2 with all of our Faithless Looting decks. So, 3 2 with all of our first draft Faithless Looting less Faithless Looting decks. Um, that's not bad, honestly. Like, these are all decks that need some work, need to be massaged a little bit. You know, uh, but all in all, we only lost to big mana decks. Um, we beat Boggles somehow, which is cool. And we definitely need to figure out a good plan for big mana decks. Uh, what that plan is. I mean, it could be more Pillages. It could be Goblin Rabble Master, maybe. I, I don't really know, honestly. I'd have, to, I'd have to think about it and do a little more. So, new to Magic Online, is there a way to farm tickets? What do you mean farm tickets? Right, we lost to two decks where if Faithless Looting was in our deck, we probably would have lost anyway. Very, very true. Uh, tickets only come from the store. Yeah, tickets... You can sell cards, you can sell booster packs, you can sell treasure chests for tickets, but you cannot acquire a ticket unless it is on the secondhand market or for cash from the store. So, but yeah, um, I like what's going on here. Uh, Ransack was pretty good. I love the main deck Brutality. Um, Pyromancer's great, Pyromancer's great. Unearth was kind of bad. Bedlam Reveler is still awesome. Smiting Galaxy is pretty good. Um, Cyborg probably needs some work. Um, not sure. I'll think about it more. Uh, no, it's not like, I mean, it's, it's, you can go infinite on Magic Online if you're good at drafting by selling your cards and your packs and drafting again, but it's not like a free to play system like it is on Arena, no. Um, but yeah, deck seems cool. So definitely I, I would give this deck a try. Um, and don't be afraid of playing graveyard decks or looting decks without looting. They're obviously not going to be as good, but as I said a few times, no looting means much less graveyard hate. And if you're playing a deck based on the graveyard and nobody's playing rest in peace, no one's playing main deck surgicals, no one's playing things like that, and you got a good chance, you know? Uh, you missed the Phoenix deck a bit up on YouTube. The deck list is in the article that's linked in the thing. Again, once again, real fast, coolstuffinc.com article. I talk about all three of the decks that I played um, today. So Phoenix, Dredge, and uh, Marty Pyromancer. Full uh, full rundowns on all of them. Coolstuffinc.com. Check the article out. Went 3-2 with all of these decks, and they're all first drafts. So it's a very good start. Very good start. So that's it for the Faithless Looting decks. We're playing Goblins next, so YouTube folks... Subscribe, I love you.